What's up YouTube? Um, another quick video. I just made a, a bunch of videos yesterday, but uh, I got uh, a bunch of statues. So this is going to be mainly a statue, you know, new statue pickups. Uh, and there's a few other, uh, a few books too um, at the end. So I'm going to start off with the new statues I got, you know. You know, you guys have seen this one before. Uh, which is the San Diego Comic Con Harley Quinn, Arkham City. Well, I, I have actually always wanted the regular one, so I actually picked that up. So I got the Arkham City Harley Quinn. The, um, I don't know, I just think that one's so hot. So yeah, you gotta be a little careful. This one's not attached to the base. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. So I picked that one up. So there I got I got both of them. I don't know if there's another one too, but that's the ones I know of. Now also I got this one. Now the reason I bought I bought three uh, statues. Um, the reason I bought three is because that you know it was my birthday a couple weeks ago. Um, in my local store, they give you, on your birthday, they give you gift certificates and, you know, discounts that you can use for a certain period of time. And one of them was 15% off up to three statues. Um, so that's what I did. I, I was going to pick this one up anyway. Um, so I decided to go in there before the uh, coupon ran, expired. And when I was there, I realized I can buy three. I might as well get a couple that I wanted. This one now was on sale clearance already, which they weren't supposed to give me a discount. But they did. They give gave me the discount anyway, um, and it's the Constantine Vertigo uh, thing. They had this listed for eighty-five dollars. It's a clearance, um, and he gave me another fifteen percent off, uh, which you know was really. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what I got each of these for. Um, this one here, I paid seventy-two twenty-five with a discount. The Harley Quinn, it was originally a hundred and twenty-five. I paid a hundred and six twenty-one. So that's what I paid for that. I got one more. Um, but that, I mean, I'll show you this one first. This is really cool. Um, there's a base. I've got a beer up there on the. Hmm. But you know, I'm really getting into the uh, TV show for Constantine. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm really surprised that these TV shows are putting out nowadays are really good, especially after watching the movie with Keanu Reeves. The movie was okay, but I don't know, I just wasn't, it, I don't think it was great or anything. This TV show has turned out to be pretty good, um, along with The Flash and Gotham. Oh my god, Gotham is so good. Um, I, Gotham is probably one of my top shows right now. Uh, but yeah, so I got that one. Let me take this out of the way. I got room. I got one more. I've been wanting to pick this one up from my store for a while. They've had it there for months, and I kept, kept every time I saw it, I wanted to buy it. Every time I look, I went to the store, I kept thinking about buying it. But I finally got it. I paid a hundred and this one here. I paid a. They wanted 130. I paid 110.50 for it, so which I think is a good deal. Here, I got it right here. So here you go. It's the Killing Joke um, statue, which it lights up and it has a shutter action. Which I just turned it on. I got to figure it out more. It makes a, a clicking noise when you. It's a has a um, little thing there, sensor there, that when you walk by it will make like a clicking sound from a camera going off, um, which I have, I think I heard it click once, and I don't know if it's supposed to be blinking like that or not, but the lights lighten up, but it's really cool, I mean, some of these things, I wish they had everything glued down on this base and everything, um, but they don't, here I'll show that to you up close. Yeah, really cool. And the camera's separate too. It's really hard to get it into his hands. Um, but it's so awesome. One of the problems I got with this, you know, it's an older, 
um, statue, and it had never was never opened. Um, and the batteries that came with it were three triple A's, um, and the batteries had exploded inside it or whatever went bad, and it started leaking. So I, I had a, I had, I had batteries, my own batteries anyway. But um, there's a little, I don't know what you call him. It's pretty cool though. But yeah, so uh, I put my own batteries in, and I was able to wipe all the acid out of the, the plastic in the kit. There you go. You hear that? I don't know why I did that now, but I don't know. But I'm not really getting it for the sound anyway. I'm not going to have it on. It's just basically for that. So hopefully it'll, I'll figure it out. Maybe I just don't have it plugged in all the way, or there's a little plug back there. Okay, so that's all the statues I got. Um, but I did get a couple books. Um, just a couple from my local store and oh I got one more thing to show uh, I got this too this is the Arkham City uh, pop Harley Quinn uh, this is what I asked them to pick me up one um, I, I thought they were gonna get the glow-in-the-dark one but I, when I got there today and they had this one I was very surprised and I'm glad they actually got this one for it. it's pretty cool like the Arkham City one so okay my uh, the books I picked up, which not too. I got a couple good books on eBay, but here's the ones I got from the local store. Um, I, I was able to get number two of Drawing of the Three. I, I need number three still. Um, they didn't have it, so they said they're going to get it for me. Uh, somehow I was, wasn't able to pick them up. But I got Evil Within, which I didn't know came out this week, or this week, or last week, whatever it was, and I picked up number two. So. And I was able to get Suicide, I got number one and number four, so I, I was able to get number two and number three, they still had copies of, they had one copy of number two, or two copies of number two, and they had like three copies of number three, so pretty cool, got the whole set now, and I went through their bins, back issue bins, and I found a couple books also, um, I got this one, X-Men Omega, um, I paid like four dollars for it with them which is you know i could have found it sooner or later in a dollar bin i was able to get the ma the alpha in a dollar bin at the flea market but i saw it there i just grabbed it you know no big deal pay three bucks for this this is the venom enemy within part one uh, i believe this is glow in the dark so it was only three bucks so i picked it up and these i didn't really pay that much i got a di uh, discount also and plus i had two gift certificates five dollars each so i ten dollars off or well, whatever that all came to and I also got this too Justice League of America number 10 it's a Michael Turner cover with Power Girl pretty hot so uh, that's the only one I pulled they had a bunch of these um, they had a couple other Michael Turner covers but I didn't really was in I wasn't really into the covers and this was a pretty I just got that one because it was pretty cool and it was three bucks so um, now I got a couple of pickups from eBay just uh, like five or six books, so real quick. Um, pretty good books, though. Oh, I got one more book from my local store. Sorry, I didn't see this. This is the uh, variant of Grendel versus the Shadow, number three. They didn't have the variant when I picked it up on Wednesday, when I went to Wednesday. Um, so they picked it up from another store for me and got it for me. So I got all three of them now, all the variant covers. Pretty cool. Um, now the books from me. I got, I got four of them. First one, I paid two bucks for this. It's not in great condition. It's Captain Marvel number 34. It's for Nitro. Uh, kills a. Uh, uh, it's the introduction of Nitro or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but it's got a chunk missing out of the corner and it's not in good condition. But for $1.99, why not? You know, I don't have it, so I picked it up. Now I paid. I think it was $6 for this one. Um. Let me see. Bear with me for a second. I got one really good book. Two good, two other good books coming up. So I just want to give you guys the right prices I pay for these. Um, but I paid. I, I know I paid a dollar ninety nine for this. That and this is. I'll show it. This is the Witching Hour number three. Um, now I've been wanting to pick up number one and start picking these early issues up. So. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't, it, it was less than $10, it wasn't much, I think it was around 6 bucks. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. For some reason my uh, eBay isn't working right now, so I can tell you how much I paid for them. So, oh well. But yeah, I paid like six bucks for it. It wasn't much at all. Okay, now this one here, I paid $12, I think it was, $13, around there. Fantastic 451. Now, it's not in anywhere close to nice condition. It's a good, you know, condition maybe. Uh, but it was really cheap. So I picked it up, and it's an early issue of Fantastic Four, so I'm always, I'm, I'm going to try to keep grabbing them. Uh, and for, you know, $12, 13 14 whatever it was, it was right around there. Um, it's, in, it's not bad. So it's a pretty cool cover, too. So I don't know if there's any significance to it, but I just thought it was cool when it was cheap, so I got it. Okay, now this is the big book I got. Um, I paid $12 for this book. And I could not believe it because I saw this at the Rhode Island Comic Con and some guy wanted $100 for it. And I actually thought about getting it. I actually knew who had it. Um, it was the one I bought the Cry for Dawn number one third printing from. The people I, I bought that from. They had this up there and they wanted $100 for it. Well, I got it for $12. And I'll tell you, it is in near mint condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. So here you go. Megaton number three, the first appearance of Savage Dragon. So I'll show it to you. I haven't taped these bags up yet. I just put them in here. I gotta buy some new mylights because I've been using the silver golden age bags on every book. That's all I have. Um, I'll rebag them when I get some uh, silver age or standard, whatever standard size. But look at that. Twelve dollars. Megaton number three. Pretty cool. Awesome. Very happy to have it. I seen this one on months and months ago on someone else's video. It was either um I want to say it might have been Hero Hunter. Uh or I I think it was Hero Hunter, but it could have been Mercer not maybe. I don't know. I think it might have been Hero Hunter though. Uh Hero Hunter A one. Um and I saw it and I really wanted to get it. I never thought I would get it, but yeah, so I'm very happy to have it. So yeah, that, that's all I picked up. I got, oh, I bought a big purchase last night. And I, I'm out of control right now, guys. So I'm starting to reel it back in now. I was talking to the girl at the comic store and I was telling her I'm going to buy all these statues and get it out of my system. And hopefully I'll be sick, and uh, sick with myself and uh, I won't buy anything for a while. But we'll see. But I'm going to start reeling it back, you know, got to stop. Um, but I did make a really cool purchase last night and the reason I did it was because the book is in such good condition for the price I got it for and I can't wait to show it to you but I do have some other books coming up I'll show them to you next week when I get them all um, and hopefully I'll have my Boston Comic Con books too so but yeah oh I want to say one other thing again I want to thank my buddy Tim Morant um, for the uh, the, um, the stained glass he did uh, the Grendel for me. I also forgot to mention that he uh, actually wrote me a letter with it too. You know, so it was very nice. He says, thank you again for Cursed Pirate Girl. It's awesome. Hope you enjoy this. If not, you can always recycle it. <laughs> you know, your friend Tim. Um, I would not recycle it. Um, I like it very much. It's already up in my living room. I was talking to him last night. And if you haven't watched, uh, if you're not subscribed to Tim Morant, go ahead and subscribe to him. He got some awesome videos on there. He's a great guy. Um, also, he just posted last night. Um, I guess he was waiting for me to get it. But he posted two videos on the making of the stained glass um, that, that he made for me. So go ahead and check it out. It's really interesting. Um, so, But, yeah, thanks again, Tim. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm still speechless over it. I think it's awesome. Uh, I might have to call you up and, you know, uh, ha have you make me something else, you know, and pay you for it this time, you know, so I got to think about some things because I know you make things and you sell them So maybe I'll get, I'll get you to make me something for my girlfriend or something. So but yeah, thanks a lot Tim And also um, I'm at 148 subscribers I got two more to go till I reach 150 and Once I reach 150, I'm gonna start pulling books together. I got a couple books one of the books I had said I was watching some previous videos I said I was gonna give away was um 
Alien Worlds 3D, uh, which is the first um, published work of Art Adams. So that, that's going to be one of the books because I did say I was going to put it in there. So I'm going to put that in a, in a set uh, of the get, uh, the prize forever win. So, but I am going to do some other things too, though. So um, I'm going to put try to put some good books in there, um, and there'll be some you know, you know regular books and stuff. So, uh, but yeah. So two more people you haven't subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to me, uh, like the video, whatever, and uh, hopefully when I get 150, I'll. Make, make a video to show you, uh, you know, with the contest rules and everything. So, okay, well, thanks a lot, guys, for wa uh, for watching. And I'm going to close this video down with one more look at the sexy Harley Quinn. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, see you later, guys.